Yeah, you can't eat till tomorrow morning. Well, I don't even have time. any type of surgery and being put under so I have no clue like I have a clue of what to expect obviously I've seen all of the wisdom tooth removal videos on YouTube and Facebook and stuff but it's me I don't I don't know how I'm gonna react so just waiting on my dad to finish getting ready and then we're gonna hit the road wish me luck guys <laughs> yeah. For real? Yeah, you can't eat till tomorrow morning. Well, I don't even have time. <laughs> live off the land. I can't live off the land. There's nothing there. Oh, yes, there is. All them cheese. Fat cheese. That's nothing but water. <laughs> yeah, right. And them cheese. And live off, live off them fruit loops you had last night. <laughs> I wouldn't know. And wasn't enough? No, my meat cut it out. My cut it out. I need... Need food? Bird. My belly is so nice. I hope I didn't spit meat. Spit to bigger than I'm out there. That's just the food. I can't find my tongue in my lip. Uh, you shouldn't be talking. Why? Tell your father later. Why? Does he don't understand you? Yes, it does. No, she we knows out for seven years. That's my wife. She knows who I am. <laughs> hey, okay. turn the phone. Turn the phone. Hey, how you doing? Moments later. Hey, guys. So, I'm all done. It was really fast, apparently, I don't remember, but I got to keep my teeth, one of my teeth broke in half, and the piece of my gum is still in there, my dad is picking up my medicine, I can't feel my tongue, and my lip, and they some chapstick. But the lady, she was very nice, and she gave me some macaroni and cheese. Like I want to eat my macaroni and cheese. Mm. And I called Nisha, and she was laughing at me. I'm so tired. That's why I go lay down and go go to sleep. And I have to take all the dish out of my mouth and so I can go to sleep. But all my teeth are right here. Two wisdom teeth and a molar that have broke and it had a carbon DNA. That's what they took out. So, I just stuff for funny. I'm, I'm, I'm just dizzy and tired and I just, just can't fill my mouth. So hopefully my dog will be done soon so we can go home so I can lay down and do, eat or drink something. That I couldn't eat or drink since midnight. So. I'm just ready to go, go to sleep for like hours, I guess.
my sister is going to take care of me. Um, she's going to take care of me. So, she'll be happy when I get home. Okay, I'll just see you guys when I get home because I just can't get my eyes open right now. Okay, guys, I can take my gloves out now. Jay, nobody want to see that. Get her bag. Get your bag, Leo. Leo. And that's it. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna take them I can see in there. The next day. Alright, hey guys. So it's the next day. I pretty much slept all day yesterday on and off. Just waking up to eat like macaroni and cheese. Um, and barely, like literally, my mom and my dad were giving me my good hands, giving me my nephew's little baby bowls of macaroni and cheese, um, and I couldn't even chew it. I literally just kind of mushed it a little bit, but mostly I was swallowing the little macaroni pieces whole, and I ate a whole tub of ice cream yesterday, and literally I just slept so much during the day yesterday that I didn't go to sleep last night until 4 o'clock, like a little after 4 this morning. So then I woke when I, only because I was in pain at that point, but I had already taken the maximum amount of pain medication I could take for the day yesterday. Sorry, everybody's playing music. My dad's in the garage with his cougar, and my sister, yep, she's still listening to music upstairs, and I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. So I'm kind of trying to float through the house, and plus their lighting sucks really bad in here. But, yeah, so that's how my day yesterday went, and, um... My dad actually got video video of me, like he recorded me when I was in the recovery room yesterday, so I'm gonna have to get that footage from him to put it in with this vlog because I couldn't really get much. It's hard, I, I give people a lot of props that vlog completely by themselves. They don't have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a spouse, a partner, none of that. Like they just vlog by themselves because I like vlogging with Naisha. It makes things so much easier. Like she knows how to vlog. I couldn't. I did actually give my camera to da my dad yesterday and told him to videotape me, and he didn't videotape on my on my camera, but he videotaped on his phone. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. And he got some recording that's better than nothing. And that was actually very funny. But obviously, you'll have seen that by now. But um, yeah, I I just I've just been sleeping mostly. Um, it's still sore i'm not bleeding anymore or anything like that it, it the swelling actually was not bad at all because they came up with like new medicine that's supposed to like keep you from getting like the big chunky chipmunk cheeks so that was really good and they gave me like a slow release pain medication but basically i really don't remember much from the surgery it was just the initial like when i went in they like put the sensors on me they made me take two puffs and inhaler because I have an, I have asthma, and then they put the face guard on me to give me the laughing gas. I remember them getting ready to start the IV. They asked me if I've ever had one. I said no. They were having problem problems finding my veins because my mom has really bad veins that apparently I've inherited. So thanks a lot, mom. Um, they were getting ready to clean it, so the nurse told told me, okay, you're gonna feel something cold. You're gonna feel a pinch and a sting. And so they, they wiped it, that was the cold. Uh, I felt the pinch of when it, you know, they first put it in and then the sting of when they started to insert the IV. And it was like, I literally felt the, the pain for like all of two seconds and I was out cold. And apparently like after they woke me up, I fell right back to sleep and you know, snoring really, really bad. I thought I was dreaming, but my dad told me that that's what the nurse also told him too. So apparently that was true, it wasn't a dream. But I'm getting ready to go out for a bit with my dad and my sister. My mom had to go somewhere this morning. And I just want to get out of the house and just 
breathe for a little bit and not just be cooped up in the house like I was all day yesterday. I really don't feel like vlogging because I have enough footage to edit later today from the last few days that I've I've vlogged because I haven't vlogged an entire day since I've been here because there's just been so much going on and update on the house that my parents were looking at unfortunately they didn't get the house somebody offered an all cash offer and can't beat that because my parents them purchasing that home was contingent on them selling this house so the lady wasn't going to wait around for my parents to sell their house to you know for them to take that money and put it on that house and the person that came after them literally just walked through the house pretty much said i like it here's cash we'll take it and it's moving ready the lady has moved out she's living in florida now which is hilarious because i live in florida but um yeah there was there was no beating that so now i kind of gonna do a little damage control my mom make sure she's okay and let her know this was nothing that they could have avoided there was nothing that they could have done um and just try and find them another house so i'm just gonna close out the vlog because literally this is like multiple days worth of vlogs in one vlog and this is the first and hopefully the only time i ever have to do this because i really don't like having to do this i like vlogging one day at a time but thanks for being a part of our day good night from nj and Philly. we'll see you tomorrow bye guys